defended the Bills 23-20. Browns handled the Niners 24-10. Hey, the Chiefs capture their seventh consecutive win with a 10-3 victory over the Chargers. As for games going on right now, it is the Raiders 15 and the Broncos 12. That one midway through the fourth quarter. Also midway through the fourth quarter, Packers on a rainy Lambeau field leading the Dallas Cowboys 14-7. For the rest of your NFL scores, make sure to go over to NBCSportsRadio.com. College hoops, a couple of big victories. Villanova in a Big 5 matchup. They're number 9 in America. They beat LaSalle 76-47. to And number 14, West Virginia, all over Louisiana Monroe, 100-58. Number 4, Iowa State, currently playing Arkansas Pine Bluff at the half. It is 39-30. I'm Keith Arizari, and this is NBC Sports Radio. This is 1050 AM, KCAA, Loma Linda, and 106.5 FM, Yukaipa. MySellMakeOffer.com is our New Year's gift to you. Circle this date, Friday, January 15th. You're invited to start the new year off right with a subscription to BuySellMakeOffer.com. Some other selling sites can be sketchy, and even others will charge you a fee on every item you list. But with BuySellMakeOffer.com, you can sell your washer, dryer, cars, or even your home with no per item fees. And you can use Skype, make a video, you can actually see the person you're buying from, or they can see you, all to better sell your product. Wouldn't you like a feeling of security when you buy or sell? That's why we call it BuySellMakeOffer.com. And you don't have to wait until January 15th to find out what the buzz is all about. Go right now to BuySellMakeOffer.com and type in your email address so you'll know exactly when the fun will begin. The first 30 days are on us. And then it's as little as $7.95 per month to sell up to 50 items. Join the revolution in online selling with BuySellMakeOffer.com. As the owner of my business, I wear a lot of hats. I'm accounting, sales, and so much more. But I don't know marketing. Let Dex Media be your marketing department. Our team can create a digital plan for you with everything from search to social. Contact Dex Media, that's D-E-X Media, to get found, get chosen, and get talked about. Whoa, that's a job for cleanup, which would be me. Call 844-230-3436 or visit DexMedia.com today. Welcome to Wyatt's Paint and Body in sunny San Bernardino, California. Hey, if we can't fix your car, nobody can. Wyatt's Paint and Body started um, in 1975. My father, Randy Wyatt, opened the business because he had a passion for cars and he developed a real strong love for San Bernardino. Our primary business is collision repair. We can negotiate with the insurance company how to repair your vehicle, but that doesn't mean that's where we stop. We also have done restoration work, we've done custom work. We will match the paint to where you wouldn't even see the difference of what we repaired and what we painted versus what was already on the vehicle. We do a lot of repairs in-house as far as brakes to suspension parts that may be out of alignment or damaged so they may need to be replaced. Frame repair, when a vehicle gets hit so hard that uh, the frame's bent or shifted, we have to repair the frame back to its specifications. We can take care of all that, but it just doesn't stop at vehicles. We painted boats, we've repaired uh, motorcycles, we've developed a great relationship with the city and the county of San Bernardino. Occasionally we'll have the city vehicles, and also Caltrans. Taking care of a customer is number one. When a vehicle enters our shop, we will take it to the fullest to make sure that that customer is happy. When someone has their vehicle damaged and they don't know where else to turn and they come to you and you repair the vehicle and the person's crying, tears of joy, when you hand them the keys, that's something you can't get anywhere else. It's a very good feeling and I really enjoy that. This isn't just a job, this is a life. This is my life. If you ever need your car worked on, come to 350 North Rancho Avenue, San Bernardino, California, or you can call us at 909-885-5051. You're not just a job, you're not just a dent on the fender, you're a person. You're a wide pain body, no one will treat you like we do.
Attention homeowners, is your fixed rate above 3.75%? Hello, Sean Nevin here, president of Pacific Home Loans. We are a direct lender specializing in refinance and purchase loans with a AAA rating from the BBB. As a local Southern California lender, we pride ourselves on superior customer service while delivering the absolute lowest rates. Pacific Home Loans will pay you $500 if any of our competitors can beat our offer. Purchasing a home, we will close your loan in 20 days or pay your moving costs. What lender does that? With home values on the rise, now is the perfect time to get cash out. We offer the lowest conventional Jumbo, FHA, and VA rates in the market. Saving money is important to you. Call 888-888-BLUE or go to phloans.com. Call 888-888-2583 and ask about our no-cost 3% fixed rate. A five-minute call can save you thousands of dollars. Certain restrictions apply. Not all applicants will qualify. Licensed by the BRE 01912112. NMLS license number 90616. $500 offer subject to management approval. Moving costs limited to $500. 3% APR fixed rate amortized over 120 payments. 725 go. 80% max LP. If saving money is important to you, Southern California's Inland Talk Express is KCAA. I'm Benita Rodriguez, and I'll be hosting the Voice of the Inland Empire radio show on station KNBC station, KCAA radio, 10... 50 a.m. and 106 FM. Website is www.kcaaradio.com. Part of the Danny Alcoris and Angel Baby Sunday block every Sunday from 4 to 5. Call in line is 1 888 909 1050. If you like, would like to be a sponsor or advertise on Sunday block and reach thousands of social media, contact Danny Alcoris or Benito Rodriguez. The Green Shack. Dally established since 1978. Vote best subs of the IE on 163 West Highland Avenue. Phone orders is 909 886 3812. And I gotta tell you, the only sub that I really like in there, which is there are very many of them, but I really like the, the hot pastrami sandwich. That's that's like my favorite the, one. The Joker, I believe it's called. Is it? Yeah, really? I think so. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I, the Joker, huh? Yeah. yeah, that's what she calls it. Yeah, I love that. I I don't know why, but that's like just my favorite one. Um, also visit the Traveling uh, Shack, and we also have J and J Bar and Grill, one two seven East Highland Avenue. The food is great, so go out and try it. And J and at uh, J&J Sports Bar and Grill. Congratulations to Scott Wyatt and Michael Gallo on them winning the election and for their sponsorship. And today we have Lewis, and he's going to be talking about uh, Skateland. Thank you guys for having me. It's you know it's a pleasure being with you guys. Thank you, Danny and Benita. Uh, as you guys know, we used to be called Stardust, you know, yes. way back in 1972 when the rink opened up. Yes. So, you know, we're, we're called Skateland now. We're, you know, trying to change the image. And, you know, as I mentioned you know, just a couple minutes ago, we're trying to not just be a roller rink in San Bernardino, but be the San Bernardino roller rink. So, you know, ownership, uh, we changed the owners in July. And right off the bat, they just started making changes. You know, this has got to go. This has got to go. Started yeah. putting in new carpets, started changing out the snack bar area, and started just really just changing the overall concept of now, you know, the rink itself. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on over there. Um, I noticed that uh, did you have a lot of uh, different type of events and stuff like that that's going on in there uh, correct yeah um the, the name of actually our facility is skateland event center so we just we don't want to be just strictly roller skating you know we want to be open to you know what i mean public events i know you know our general manager joe franco was you know talking with danny yesterday about you know an inland empire talent show you know so oh, kind of wow. just expanding yes. things and you know not just being just skating you know if people want to throw a concert or throw an event you know we want to be san Bernardino's yes. venue you know can we, you tell us who's been there I'm sorry, uh, we had, a couple years ago, we had, he's actually kind of big now, he's a uh, uh, rap artist called Beza, uh, he was, that was a very popular event, um, we've done, you I, know, so I remember him. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah we've done Beza. Uh, we've had Beza. We haven't really done too many really big headliners. We've kind of just uh-huh. done, you know what I mean, more of like um, local. Uh, we tried, uh, we were doing some Mexican bands, you know, that okay. came out yes. for the last couple weekends and Saturday nights. And well, you guys are waiting for me, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, hey, we're, we're waiting, we're waiting, Danny. You know, yeah. you know, Joe told you yesterday, you know, whenever you guys are ready, you know, we'd love to have you guys. You know, we want to be, you know, a community facility. You yes. know what I mean? Even if the city of San Bernardino wants to do an event. Oh, wow. uh, we've been doing a lot of work with um, Council Member Barrios. Yes. You know, so we've been doing a lot of work with him. Uh, you know, we do community meetings at the rink. Yes. You know, where we invite, you know, owners from, you know, the Green Shack and places like you mentioned, you know, uh, JJ's, you know, even the uh, the franchisee for Baskin Robbins. We're just trying to be just a community place. We invite all of our neighbors. Yes. You know, and... Um, well, just like yesterday when we had uh, the San Bernardino Memorial Ribbon Ceremony, we had it there at Skateland. Correct, yeah. You know what I mean, Carla? You know, we it that event together and you know we had a decent turnout you know we were very yes, pleased we with the turnout and you know we'd like to see yeah. the community supporting you know one another and supporting a cause like that you know that's definitely we're willing you know to help the victims or you know the victims families in any way that we can yes so you guys are fairly new then right in july you said right uh yes we it's always been open you know it's been open as stardust you know everybody knows it as stardust people still come into this yes. day call it stardust you know what i mean and that's fine if that's yes. you know what i mean but uh the ownership decided to change the name to skateland um you know what i mean that was a tough decision something because, new yeah that was a tough decision you know what i mean because everybody's used to stardust it's yes. a staple in the city of san bernardino so for us to make that change was difficult but you know we wanted to create a new concept and yes. a new image so with that you kind of have to change the name and that's you know we just decided on skate landing yes. center so you guys are just thinking out of the box doing something different to bring the community together right Is um so it's not necessarily yes. thinking out of the box um our general manager joe franco has had experience running roller rings before he's uh, actually uh, skate land whittier which was really popular in la back in you know like the 90s and you know 2000s so um you know, so he's, he's got been experience. around yeah so he's 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 been around so he knows you know he came started working hard right away you know what i mean i want this down i want this so we just started making positive changes and, yes you know he's really big with um community involvement and that's, okay, that's you know, good yes like i said he's spearheaded the community meetings and Definitely, definitely. I was just about to say that because we were speaking. I was going to say, say your name, but I forgot it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been six months, yeah. It's Yanni. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we were speaking. Six months. Man. Yes, it's been six months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but we were talking <laughs> off air about how you um, want to be a part of that positive change that we need in our community. Yes. Knowing that you were born and raised in San Bernardino. Um, with the past events that have happened in our community over the past weeks with the with the ribbon ceremony and everything how it has it how has it affected you and the way the, the role that you see you have to play in our community to help be a part of the healing and bringing that positive atmosphere and life back into our city okay um, that's a very good question um you know being born and raised in San Bernardino, you know you know you see the shootings in paris you see the shooting in colorado uh, yes. the movie theater shooting you know you just um as a person you never think that it would happen in your city you know what i mean never in a million years did any well, one i think of us we probably, all felt that way yeah you know, so it's just, you know, we have to take it. You know, we have to learn from it. You know, I feel that that event is actually going to bring San Bernardino together. That's a personal feeling of mine. I feel that, you know what I mean, if the residents, you know, can, can you know, benefit from it and, you know, learn from it and we can, you know, join together. And, you know, we've been doing a great job. But, you know, yes. the mayor started a GoFundMe page. You know, people have been raising money for the families. You know, you see for the first time people starting to come together and people starting yeah. to and that's really what this community needs yes that we need a lot of that right now so you know like i said that's you know definitely something that we want to yes. be a part of you know we want the community to come to our facility and you know what i mean have fun and do you have specials of if, if any kind you know you want to go out and skating uh, what would you offer us uh yes i mean you know we do group packages uh we do fundraisers you know with the san bernardino school district we do the majority of the elementary schools you know, what we do is uh, we charge them admission and we charge them skates and we give them a portion of the money back and they can okay. use it for whatever they would like to use it for, athletics, for music programs, art programs, which, okay. whichever. So, so let's say I wanted to do a van because I do once a month events and I wanted to go out there, so what could you do for me? Okay, um, you know what I mean? We do nonprofits as well. Uh, we charge you um, $5 for the admission and $2 for skates. And okay. what we do is we would give you half of the admission back. So, oh, you know wow. what I mean? Obviously, yeah. the more people you guys have, you know what I mean? The more money 
we've had, you know, Curtis Middle School, they come 200, 300 people, and that's, you know, they're able to make $700, yeah, $800 that, for their, you know, for their ASB or for whatever they choose to use the money for. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. That's you awesome. guys offer a lot awesome. of stuff. Also, I heard you had weddings and quinceañeras there? Yes, you know what I mean? Uh, we are an event center as well. Like I said, you know, we are open to quinceañeras, and if anybody would like to rent our facility, um, I had somebody actually, they're going to be getting married on Valentine's Day of 2016 oh, nice. and they actually want to yes. do their wedding on skates awesome. so oh, you know what i mean it's definitely something, something different that, yes yeah, you know so our general manager being the skating guy that he yes. is was like you know what i mean if you guys are interested in it heck yes you know yes. it's definitely something it was, it was me man you're getting married again <laughs> no, skate. Me and skate. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, I thought you were gonna get married again. <laughs> I never married. <laughs> I'm talking about the skate. Part. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You guys can come, you guys can come down, and you know, you guys can definitely be my guest whenever you guys want. That's you know, it's definitely not a problem. Uh, there's, uh, we got Jimmy here, right? Espinosa from the Midnighters. No, oh, hey. yes. Hey, he likes welcome. Doing, he likes doing things for the for the people. Oh. How you doing today, sir? I've been wonderful. Uh, first of all, I I really want to say that. Uh, Things don't just happen. I believe everything's orchestrated. Yes, that's true. And uh, right, your organization and my reason for being here are the same. We're just doing it in a different way. But uh, I was at a fundraiser yesterday praying for the city. I came to pray for the city of San Bernardino. Amen. Yes. And the spokesman as well as the midnight or nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> so I came and I had booked a show, a New Year's show, which I'm about to tell you guys about. Oh, okay. At, in San Bernardino. And I'm ready for the big promotion, and then we have the catastrophic event of mm -hmm. the shootings. Mm -hmm. So I oh. prayed and said, Lord, what do you want me to do? Because yes. I've got a lot of people involved and a lot of families involved. So I pulled a plug. I mean, will they come? Will they not? He says, you've got to stand in faith. I said, I know Amen. I stand in faith. Yes. But what about the community? Well, we're talking about the healing. Amen. Yes. So people just started doing what you're doing. You know, just pouring out their hearts. Excuse me, we're right. we're patriots. We're Americans. We're yes, citizens. We are. We're not going to let any terrorist act uh, hurt us anymore. And so, what you guys are doing is like seminal to what this country sh is supposed to be going to. Yes, right. we're coming together and coalescing mm. in these common problems because we're all patriots. Yes. yes. So I came to San Bernardino not as the leader of the Midnighters or an artist. I came as an American patriot. That's it. And we need to know what that is now. Not Democrat, not Republican, not secular left-wing progressive or right-wing wacko, but patriot. <laughs> pa and you guys know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we know. That's the truth. Um, so I came to that epiphany in my career to make these baseball seasons work, and this man has been doing it pretty uh, silently behind the scenes, but he's yes. created a big impact here in the Inland Empire. Oh, yeah, so he has. I'm to say that uh, you, Danny is a dear friend of mine, and I support him since day one. And he doesn't talk a lot, but he's smiling now. <laughs> <laughs> he's smiling. Yeah, he, he is goes, smiling. He's bring Jimmy yes. in the midnight. No, 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 no. And I'll smile. <laughs> that's great. So anyway. I told Danny, you he would make me smile. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. To make a long story longer, that's what it's all about. It's all right. about us getting together yes so i'm is. coming with the midnighters to do a new year's eve show and so i'm here to let everybody know about it and actually so I come out and support it not because i want to sell tickets because i came here to bring the music to the inland empire to have a celebration yes. and then all of a sudden the gloom came over I said, well wait a minute no we need to just stand up and support ourselves and yes. celebrate and uh if you have some of your uh, your information, you're welcome to bring it to the show. Okay, yeah, you know, that's definitely, table. you know what I mean? We're yeah. looking have to a product table. get involved. You, you get your stuff, we'll lay it all out, and I'll uh, talk about it. Okay, yeah. Oh, my nice. personal invitation. Okay, definitely, okay. And definitely. And give me your information, yes. and uh, there you go. Right. And I, I definitely have a question for both of the guests um, today. How important do you think love is to... to Healing our world. How? What part do you see love playing in us coming together as a you, community? You could have said uh, uh, the word God, because God is love. Amen. So the Bible mm -hmm. says God is love. Love is everything. And what happens is that people get distracted because we do have an enemy. It's a spiritual enemy. And I'm saying, guys, look, if somebody tries to do something, you need to take care of your country and your territory. But what I find is we need to get this forgiveness thing going Amen. and shoot at the top of the guy's head because that's where the demons are. Amen. So if you can get a guy's untransformed mind 
and pray for him that, that he becomes clear. And you say, oh, Holy Spirit, I pray you send laborers to open up his mind because he's of the world of darkness. It's just, this is the way it is. This is not me trying to, it's in the book. Yes. Now, if they don't play by that book, then we have a, a double responsibility because we're in the light. Amen. So we say, you know, I lay no charge against you. And what did I just do? Not only did I save you from my condemnation, I saved me from my condemnation. Mm. Because it all, it's in the heart. Amen. Is out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. Yes. Out of the good treasures of a good heart, a man bringeth forth good things. That's why he says, zippity doo da, zippity a, <laughs> my oh my, what a wonderful day <laughs> from sea to shining sea. Amen. America, America. Awesome. Yes. How many died for thee? Man. So I'm here to be. An American again, Amen. not a Mexican American, an Indian American, an African American, a Jewish American, yes. an Italian American, a San Salvadorian American, an El Cuadro, stop me now. <laughs> <laughs> a Puerto Rican, your Ray Carrion, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be on the show. Mr. Ray Carrion, he's a, he's a hot young man on the scene. He plays immaculate electric guitar, and he and Maria and his two boys. I'm proud to be affiliated with Ray. We do a lot of shows. We're awesome. the Midnighters oh, okay. are celebrating their 50th year Excellent. as a legacy in in our community as artists and writers and sort of harbingers of a of that 60s era. That's what's yes. up. You know, so Ray Carion uh, is going to be on the bill with his All Star Group. So it's going to be a power packed event. So I'd like to invite everybody, all the listeners, to uh, the Jason Banquet Hall. That's 1650 Southeast Street, San Bernardino. You can call the station here. They'll give you more information. Okay. Dial 626-282-2840 or 323-895-2863. And uh, tickets are $80, $100 uh, VIP, and you get dinner and the whole thing. Um, nice. That's to cover the costs. And uh, part of it is going back to, to special education for the San Bernardino community because I'm involved with the Latino Businessmen Alliance uh, Inland Empire. Uh, I'm the music advisory now. There's yeah. all, you'll see a lot of me in San Bernardino. As a matter of fact, we wanted to talk about a possible affiliation partnership with the station and the needs and reaching out these common goals of education. You got it. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. 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 So and yes. Thank you, guys. Sounds all good. And, and how if about you guys yourself? ever need a venue, you know what I mean? We, we'd love to, you know, partner with you. You know what I mean? I can give Danny, you know, some information. And if you guys ever need a venue, you guys can feel free Absolutely. to just let us know. And we'd love to have you guys. That's a real, that's a real uh, um, need right now because of all the people that we're putting together. Right. Yes. We, we're doing programs to get the, the, the kids from the uh, middle schools fed into the high schools and fed into all the local colleges yes. right. and traditionally if you look their, at their enrollment their enrollment um, is, hasn't been that good right? because a lot of people aren't trusting the educational process but right. we still must we still have good teachers so uh, we have a program where we uh, through music and, and sports we, uh, we drive the interest of the local college right. through all the uh, we get them in the middle schools and the high schools so we go in there and we invite them to come to a free program at the college to introduce the college campus to consider Riverside going to this or San Bernardino going to this college. But you get you plant the seed of education by giving right. them these programs yes. in the middle school and high school. You give them programs that relate to the parents so the parents can come along with the kids. Yes. You know, like uh, Jimmy Espino does the Frank Sinatra songbook. I've got you under my skin. <laughs> I've got you deep in the heart, so deep in my heart. You're really a part of me. So. I think you should go solo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should. I, I, I thought yeah. I was Uncle Donald. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting a free show here. You know. Yeah. One, one side question, since we have an amazing, talented artist here. Um, what's been the best part? Because me personally, I feel like creative, the gift of creativity, I feel like is one of the best gifts we've been given, second to like the breath of life and, and the temple that we each have been given. But see, seeing that you've used your creative creativity to travel the world, what's been the, the best part about 
being able to find your voice and share your gifts of creative expression with this world. That the best part of it is is well, that's a lot of stuff he just yeah, said. Yeah, the best yeah. part comes <laughs> in the back. But, but to summarize, well, what was that again? Yeah. To summarize, <laughs> <laughs> well, see, see, he and I talking another level. About it, okay? <laughs> I mean, the boy knows what I'm talking about. He yeah, said, he, he said, does. "El cosheto bera que no de shiro tinda de brotanda." From the heavenly language, it comes straight from the throne of grace. Yeah. So when you surrender completely these differences that I spoke of and become patriots again, and we have them, we all have been infected with these differences. It's time for us to clean our own wounds by, by healing each other, by coming together in brotherhood and letting the Lord come in and do his spiritual yeah. work. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit's gig is to mend and to heal, Amen. but he cannot do it if a man resists them with his head. Wow. Yes. Consequently, the transformation of the mind, because he said, be not conformed to this world, but be conformed. Uh, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's to what the word, what the precepts say. Yes. Amen. Says man will not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth. And what he says, I've come to give you abundance. Amen. When? When you get to heaven, you won't need it. <laughs> I hear you. Right here so on you earth. Get your, yes. You get your stuff now. The prosperity Amen. is all in the blood. Amen. Yes. So, I got a question for you, Jim. Yes, sir. Do you think um, America has lost their way? Yes, I do. Really? I, oh, big time. I think big time. I think we need participations of Danny's and Jimmy's and, and I, I name all you guys out, yes. but they need us. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, let me tell you, Danny. <laughs> Here he goes, rolling up his sleeves. He's rolling up his sleeves. Yes, really yes, great. yes. I think yes. I picked the right question for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, because America's destiny is now, that spirit I called forth is now here. It's here right now in this Amen. room. Amen. And, and Danny, it, I see it everywhere I go with people who are saying enough, you know, enough. Yes, that's no true. No more fear. Yes. No more fear. I've seen that too many times. How many people's lives have been lost? And no more fear. We'll stand next to each other and we'll heal the wounds and, and, and then stand strong and then celebrate with music, art, yes. to uplift. Because we're the guardians of the children. Amen. That's true. I'll do that again. <laughs> we are the guardians and, and we are the children like, as well. well they, you know, so I have that's my gospel. It really Amen. comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. No, no non denominational Catholics, I don't mind. You're not allowed <laughs> to say Jesus Christ on the radio. You know, I'm like, not? You know, like, that's, I what, that's, know. What, that's what they say. Really? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> even though you, you you created the whole world, yeah. Yeah. even the ones who criticize you and they crucified you, and you said, not yeah. too shabby. I'm already here. I conquered, <laughs> and I give you, Jimmy S. Bros, the authority to take hold of this part of whatever your sphere of influence is, saith yeah. the Lord and spread it out Hallelujah. and tell each, uh, each person about the gospel of their relationship with the spirit, one Personal spirit, and you'll be empowered, love, yes, it'll, it'll start downloading you, you go, oh my God, I can't He says, I'm gonna eat chicken, I'm gonna eat chicken. He goes, Jesus, you, you know Mickey Mouse. He goes, what do you think we are, Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Jesus! Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I guess he answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Fairy tales can come true. Amen. It can happen to you Amen. if you're young at heart. In fact, I'll probably be doing, I have a tribute to Frank Sinatra. I love Billy Eckstein. From the bottom of my heart, dear. Or uh, Lou Rawls, you'll never find oh, I love a that love song. like mine. Yeah, yeah I like awesome. that song. Oh, yeah, yeah, the way I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paul Anka. And they called it puppy love just because we're 17. Someone help me, help me. It sounds like a little bit of This is not puppy love. That, that was uh, Jerry Lewis. Not too shabby. Come on, yeah. Dean. When the moon hits you. Uh, like a big pizza. I just love to sing. I, I, we well, what a it. wonderful spirit. Yes, yes. I know. Yes. He does. He really does. <laughs> wow. Uh, and to follow that question real quick, who are some of your musical influences? Who inspired you when oh, you were God, a child? Geez. Danny Algris. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Moses. I said, uh, Moses said, well, who shall I say sent me, God? 
And he says, just tell him I am sent me. The great I am. Wow. Yeah. Frank Sinatra, Johnny Mathis, Harry Belafonte. Oh, man, Harry Belafonte, master. He's a, he, Harry Belafonte was a, is an all-American artist who just took the stage and gave me a three-hour show bringing all those wonderful uh, uh, south of the south, Jamaican uh, themes and then with a lot of uh, organic instruments that mm. was really in interesting. Down the way where the nights are gay and the sun <laughs> shines brightly on a mountain top. I took a trip on a sailing ship and when I reached Jamaica, I started to say, I'm sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a day. My heart is down, my head is spinning around. I had to leave my little girl in Kingston town. So anyway, yeah. so yeah. that uh, he and who else? I think he just won our talent yeah. show. No, I, I know, really. I think he <laughs> lifted up all our spirits up here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, beautiful, beautiful yes. song, beautiful spirit. Yeah, man. many, many, many artists in the jazz field. I was a principal bassist with Gerald Wilson for a while. I studied with Ray Brown. I'm, I'm very well credentialed. I'm about, I'm, 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 I'm probably overqualified for every job. <laughs> and so they say the, the best thing for me to do is entertain and use, you all, use all that creative energy yes. in, in a multiplicity. Yes. Rather than being a schizo <laughs> and being mad because I didn't get my way, I said, well, I'll just multiply myself. Yeah. What's a schizo? Oh, Lord. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> A schizophrenic. A schizophrenic. I, I know what it is, man. <laughs> I know. He knows what, he knows what I mean. Would it be politically correct? <laughs> yeah. Well, it can be that way when you see the bouncing ball the way it is today. Just turn on the, look at the, you know, it's, my God, all the, the diverse opinions that are being tossed around. Can you imagine That's people true. that don't even have opinions yeah. and they're being fed all this stuff? Yes. This is why we need yes. to decipher and have uh, m more community involved with Amen. each other. And the internet is certainly one good way to, to go, not having to rely on just being fed the information over the television. Right. Yes. That's why I yeah. love this interacting, speaking right into the community. Yes. Right. It's so important. Speaking life into the life, you know, life into our lives and into the lives that we're surrounded by That's is so it. important because, as you said, it's the power is in the tongue and, and how we perceive ourselves, you know. You have to look through the, I tell people all the time, you have to look through the lenses of love when you look upon yourself in that mirror reflection That's so it. you can see all the blessings and gifts that are ingrained at the center of us because we're all unique yes. lights and we have something that can only be brought to this world through our hands. And it. It's about finding that strength and surrendering as well and allowing ourselves to be used, you know. Yeah. To be to be that difference, to be that light in a darkened world. So, yes. you're awesome, bro. Yes. You're awesome. I every, think every time we talk, you always bring tears to my eyes. I think me and you, uh, Yanni, were talking about that yesterday because yeah. there was a lot of people, you know, in the internet, and they don't know which way to go. There's some that are still really in fear, and there's some that don't want to leave their houses, and that's what we were talking about. Yeah. We need to come as a community. We need Definitely. to turn around and gather everybody up and tell them it's okay to start coming out now and stop being in fear. That's right. it. I think it's the whole world. It yes. Is. Amen. The whole world. Well, that's true, too. Yeah. Amen. In regards to um, the property, okay, I have a, a corporation I'm working with right now. Yes. And we're working into making affordable housing available oh. to, to this community of San Bernardino. And that's what I'm talking about real affordable housing. Yes. So as I as I get together with with the Danny here yes. to affiliate, these are some programs that we might be able to partner with, or or, or through your auspices maybe broker some of this pro these programs yes. that will 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 help this problem of property values and. Uh, yeah, we need a that. A friend of mine who's in the industry industry said after the shootings, all the escrows were canceled of all Man. the properties that were in lending institutions. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, because the lenders didn't want to, uh, they didn't want to fund something that was a hotbed. Mm. Wow, so I guess. And one day they pulled, they froze every single loan at all the banks. I, got, I knew this because I, I yeah. work up in Wilshire and we track all this stuff. We didn't even hear what, about what any of right that the, going on. With, 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 uh, with my vision now. Um, so all this is, is this, all this, 
circumstantial, apparently circumstantial negativity is being turned into a wake-up call for a cancer that's been in this country far too long. Yes. Number one. So if that's what it takes as the wake-up call, then what us as, as concerned spirits, not personalities, then yes. we don't lead on our own personhood, spirit, American spirits, yes. all for the children and for good and all the things that we, we hold true. Family values, you know, if there's, you know, uh, we live well enough alone and, and, and we learn how to live together. That's what the United States Amen. is fundamentally about. Yes. So these kind of fear things uh, uh, just have to be just faced and then taken authority over because that's why um, you know, when the darkness is there, the light just comes in and shines. And that light is, is the light that you, you bring or that you bring or I bring, we bring yes. to the community here. So so that, that those fear things stop the, those sales. So it opens up opportunity now for more people to, to target San Bernardino in the area, to bring programs in there to uh, the assistance, because there is a heart. There's a, there's a heart for the community. And uh, uh, in all my community and all the people I know, uh, everybody stopped. We were at the Honda Center. We all lit candles and said a prayer for the community of yeah. San Bernardino. Willie G, uh, dedica we dedicated that's all before to, to San Bernardino. Uh -huh. And then I, I said, I'm not going to cancel the show. I went on my Facebook that I'm still bringing the Midnighters along with Miss Ray Carion here at the at the banquet hall to to celebrate and show that we're not afraid yes, and we're that's here true. to heal and, and bless San Bernardino too. So. And that's what it, we all need. So, um, so that for affordable housing, getting to that as far as the, what your comment on many people that are worried about their homes, and I understand that's a very real thing. Yes. So, especially here in San Bernardino. I'll, I'll keep you posted of anything, any programs that, that you guys might want to publicize to your. Yeah. On Let this. me know. So we have a lot of groups on Facebook. We can post them up. Are we okay. talking about financing homes for for these people? Uh, I'd rather have my, my uh, partner to give you the, the details of how the program actually works. Because I have my own, my own loan, loan company. Right. So uh, rather than get into the details, because I'm, I, I'm pretty much an artist, spokesman, uh, uh, public publicity guy that, that, that is, is uh, interfacing the entertainment part of what I do with the, with the uh, the goal that I have as a as an American citizen, and so that takes <coughs> precedence over my midnighter thing. I mean, I did that when I was twenty three. <coughs> and I, I mean, after that, I I have a whole long history of of community involvement. So I'm using that now to get. Uh, I'm going to be having my own television show in L.A. Okay. And uh, we have one point five trillion dollars buying power. So the idea is to get those statistics and you get them to fund the scripts and the shows that, that I produce because I know the Brown viewpoint. We don't need white writers to re-identify what we're about and then misidentify with all the stuff that's coming out of Hollywood. I see. So I took, a, I took a stance and I said, Hollywood, your images of who I am are unacceptable to me, period. I like that article that came out about you. It was a while back, about a year ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it was a great article. It was a great article. Anyways, this is Carla. This is yeah, Carla. this is Carla Hi, Cabana. The lady Pleasure in red. To meet you. The, the lady, lady in red. <laughs> the lady in red. The lady in red. The lady in red. The lady in red. I love it. Have my own song. <laughs> She says that's ru that's rouge. It's not red. Okay, that looks uh, yeah. <laughs> she's the one that does. She's the one that's going to be doing the the San Bernardino International Tamale Festival in oh, January yes, the yes. 9th and 10th. Yes, coordinating it with uh, Council Mabenito Arrios and the Tamale team. Yes, they're also Tamale team. Yes, we are. So <laughs> they're involved. It's not a, a one-person show. It's a teamwork, and I love the team. I've think we've accomplished a lot. Yes, we started we with sure. two and then it was <laughs> six and now it's like 12 of us and and um, they well. all have the heart for it and so I love the team because they're all there for the same reason which is the community. Well so. I like tamales. <laughs> <laughs> well hopefully you can come <laughs> by and, and... This is a tamale festival? 
Uh, yes. yes, it's going to be a festival uh, contest between the Tamale uh, contestants that well, are when coming. When does this in. take place? January 9th, Saturday, and January 10th, which is a Sunday. Do you have a flyer? Did you bring a flyer? Yes, I did. Yes. 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 We, we have a few out there as well. You, you can do? take one. Yes, yes, we do. Have this been broadly publicized, or are you just no, we've been, to me? No, we've, no, <laughs> we've been, uh, oh, yeah, we've been working we've been on it for a little bit. We've been advertising for a while already. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say uh, you got to come to the San Bernardino International Tamale Festival. Tamale contest Saturday, January 9th and Sunday, January 10th, 10 a.m. to 6 a.m. Car show, Paris Hill Park, 1135 East Highland Avenue, San Bernardino 92404. And we're going to have over 70 vendors. It's a free event. Uh, it's the first annual, right? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it's the, the first, first annual. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Look at look at all look at that. Dan. Yeah, there's a lot uh, of people that, that are involved. I know. You did yes. that commercial good. I think I just yes. lost my job. <laughs> 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 well, no, no, we we we, we you know. See, I'll just see, no, no, but but Mutt needs Jeff, and Jeff needs Mutt. You know that's what I'm saying? That's true. <laughs> hey, hey. oh, so I guess I'm Mutt, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's a, all us cows do our best for Jersey. Man. <laughs> well, if you look at the back of the flyer, we also have, uh, we're going to have two stages, and we're going to have live entertainment and a beer garden, oh, and, yes. and, yes, and yes, music, yes. and stages. a kids zone, and yes. Yeah, a beer garden stage, mm -hmm. and a main stage, wow. And you're going to have f groups, what groups, do you know the names of the groups yet? You know what, there's a lot of the groups that are going to be there, um, and we have like Sonora Santanera, Rocio, uh, which is for, um, a past participant of the Sonora Dinamita. So we have a lot of uh, so you have Spanish Sonora music. Santanera? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. The original? Uh, do you know if they're the original? Some of them, I mean, the, that the Sonora Santanera has been around since 1955. I, I used to play with them. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, that's you awesome. Know. So at the Hall that's of the Palladium, right. 1965 through 67, uh, Chico Sesma, they had Latin holidays. They had Sonora Mantancera, Sonora okay. Santanera, uh, Gran Combo, Celia Cruz, Johnny Pacheco, Tito Rodriguez, Tito Puente, and the Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> so we got in on that whole flow. So Sonora Santanera, yeah. very okay. yeah. Muy famoso. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's our headliner. You know, Skateland is actually sponsoring one of the stages as well as the beer garden, and that that is our headliner. I've had a that's lot a of people great, inquire about their band. Yes. So some of the band members, you know, are, are older and have passed on, yes. but and I believe they have two or three people that were actually with you know the original Sonora Santanera, and then you know what I mean. There's they, they had people to fill in. Absolutely. Well, just like Tommy Dorsey had then then when he died, they had the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. The sun took over, and so that's not unusual. Chicago the same way they've had right. different members come in and out. Midnight was really that different. Some people pass away and correct. Yes, the unfortunately. The legacy continues to go on. I don't know who's going to replace me. That's going to be a hard act. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's, that's for sure. That's yeah, we all found that out today. I'm probably going to oh, have yeah. to reincarnate this act. Yes. Yes. I'm here You're going to have to. Oh no, he's back. He's back. <laughs> Clone yourself. <Yes. laughs> Did, did, did she said control yourself? No, clone, no, clone, clone yourself. yourself. <laughs> You're going to have to clone yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a message from the Holy Spirit. Control yourself. Okay, I'll control myself. Away from Conchita. Maria. Maria. I've just met a girl named Maria. Tony. There's a place for us. I like to live in America. Okay, by me in America. <laughs> hey, we need him uh, on the Tamale Festival. I know, right? <laughs> Maybe to say a few words or whatever. Yeah, we might have to make a slot for the Midnighters. Yes. We definitely might have to make a slot for well, the Midnighters. Yes. If, 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 if it's something that you're maybe interested in. Maybe I can stop by and, and, and take We would love you on the Skateland stage, stage, trust me. And we would my, my, uh, affections for the whole event maybe raffle something off yes you guys. Okay. that would be good any any any, any me, way that we have can a business card? yes i will give it to you right now okay. um we've um actually had the event um it was supposed to be this week actually this weekend but we postponed it uh due to the tragedy that happened on december yes. 2nd here in san Bernardino. yes I know. Uh, we postponed it um memory of the victims and let the people mourn and you know do what they need to do and pass this this just this hard times especially because it's christmas you know so yes. we knew they needed that time 
um, we actually thought, it, well, a lot of people thought it was going to set back the event and say, you know, we're not going to have the same, but it, it's actually been more uh, positive uh, feedback. Yeah, it's, making, um, it's yes. making it better. You know, yes. I was yes. actually talking with... Um, Yay. A lot of people have respected the decision. You know, this is, um, a lot of people have thought that this is, to make money event, but we really brought it to San Bernardino and when Benito and I thought about the idea was to bring something positive to the community, something that will say, hey, San Bernardino, the international tamale, you know, and we are known for something. So we didn't mind moving the date because at that time, um, you know, we knew that it was hard not only for us as a community, but for the victims. So. We changed it, we moved it, and now it's on January 9th and 10th, but it has, it has been a, a really good uh, feedback from the people knowing that we did, we did it for that reason. Yes. Um, of course, there's always some, someone, something negative that's right. uh, always going to, you know, you're never going <laughs> to yeah. please everybody. Right. Um, but our heart is uh, are with the victims, and our hearts are with those that have been hurt with this uh, event that just happened here. So... Uh, we're hoping that this, you know, if you can be in there and, and support us also in this event, either Saturday or Sunday, because we have two days. Um, if you want to come both days, you're more than welcome to. And if you want to come one day, you know, just let us know when you can come okay. out and that way we can announce it so that th your followers and people that follow you can also take advantage and come out here and see you, yes. you know, how even how give how some how words. How do the, the, the revenues from this event get distributed? Uh, it goes to Accords. We're working with a nonprofit organization uh, based in San Bernardino, and they um, they do uh, bullying. Um, so that's that's what it's going for. And we're also going to uh, give out some scholarships, which uh, Cardenas is also one of our sponsors. Mm -hmm. So that is what that is going towards to right now. Yeah. So, so it's that's a non-profit event or is it profit? Uh, it's actually benefiting a non-profit cords, you know, yes. which is actually an, an anti-bullying campaign. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so that's definitely yes. something that we're mm -hmm. we're going to be donating the proceeds of the Tamale Festival well, see, to, this is good. to now, see, this yes. idea, what people don't really talk about this too much, it's good. When you have a legitimate business enterprise coupled with a, with a non-profit, it's good because it feeds the community. It puts the community to work at the same time, yes. helping the nonprofit. Right. And it's too many times, uh, uh, if I have a profitable event and I want to make be a padrino to somebody, mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to get criticized because they say you know you have vested interests. Of course I do. I'm a businessman. And I want to give to the community. Yes. Yeah. So chill. Well, exactly. Right? Yes. But yes. then a lot of people can misuse it, mm -hmm. and that's what they they you know. Uh, there's a lot of groups that I got to talk about. I used to broker them, and I said, "No, you know, you, you can't misappropriate that and take a 80 percent administration fee. You know, uh, it has to be equitable." And uh, right. so I'll be there to check your business records after the show. No, no. <laughs> 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 went, oh, well, where's it going? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "Oh, the cows do our best for Jersey." Eh? <laughs> so. Um, so that's wonderful that uh, I like to see it business motivated because yeah. business is it's healthy. It's part of the American uh, system to strengthen the businesses as well as help the nonprofits. Exactly, and that's what what this is event wonderful. this event is about because we have over seventy <laughs> vendors and we have reached out to uh, our businesses here. Um, so that they can participate on the event and people can get to know they're out here. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, most of our entertainment is from uh, this Inland Empire also. Oh, um, so that we can have also uh, just, you know, promote them and, and make them know that, you know, they are supported by, yeah. by the community. Wonderful. No, I just wanted to say, um, you know, even the city wanted to get involved in this, right? Yes, the city is involved the and we have, uh, um, we have their support. So we're very happy um, that that they're you know that they're involved in it, that and that that we it. have had a lot of support you know just like Skateland, their uh, business owners, and you know um, Danny, um, you know er, just even volunteers. You know we have Rusty Caesar, yes. which are college students that are also coming to support and. I think we're going to have about what yeah, uh, over a hundred volunteers. Yeah, Jimmy and the Midnighters supporting it. <laughs> oh, you heard that, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. I said no, 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 no. Oh, we're going to have to announce that now. Yeah. Yeah. You got to sign. You got to so sign right So can we do the happy dance or yes. not? Yes. Sign your name. Happy dance. Oh. Oh. El lapicero. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Give me the pen before he changes. <laughs> oh, they want you to sign. Before he get out of the seat, please make him sign the flyer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What is this? This is some No, that's something else. No, he has the flyer over there. He wants you to sign that. Yes. Oh, you know what? This one, this one, this one, right on well, He's such a good sport. He's like, sure, I'll find it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maria. Maria I think they're just joking, Jimmy. We're just joking. He's actually you mean just I got to do? We believe your word, <laughs> yeah. Jimmy. Oh, we oh, take your word. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we believe your word. <laughs> hey, that signature wow. might be worth money one yeah. day. Okay, can yeah. you please sign it and give me back my flyer? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you another oh, one. I need this. But I sign it. This is the only one you have? No, yeah, I will I, give you yeah. another one, but that one more. you can sign it for me, and then I can keep that as a memory. Oh, you, were, you weren't kidding. No. <laughs> 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 now I'm going to go back to the pen. <laughs> <laughs> the pen is on the table. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are the Midnighters. Awesome. You know what? This, uh, the Midnighters, woot woot. Yes, we got them. Yeah. Nice. Part of our tamale team now. Oh yes. I like green. Chili. I told you it keeps growing. I like the, I like yes, the, it does. I like it's the bringing green like more and more amazing and people, right? Good. So yes, do you have, do you, do you, do you have different types, or are they just Sonora style, or they're uh, what style of the tamales? Oh. Well, it, they're actually international. So, and the reason why we made it international is because we wanted to show our different cultures of uh, oh, the Hispanic culture. So we have Guatemalan, Costa Rican, Mexicans, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicaragua. But the local they, ones. So you're they going to. <laughs> the Guatemalan tamale is really great. I have some down at, at one of these tamale festivals. It's huge. It's yes, a, it's they huge. Have in the, the big Banana leaves. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I opened it good. up and said, "Hey, how you doing?" <laughs> 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 this is a tamale. It's a yes, tamale. they're they're <laughs> they're pretty huge. Yes. Hey, Jimmy, you know what a funnel cake is? A what? Funnel cake. We gotta bring him a funnel. Cake. Yes, he, we, oh, do. we do. I yes, know. I do. You do. Yeah. Oh, see, he's had one. I think you need to go out and go get one, Danny, you know and taste where, it. Yeah, you know where they have them, and I'm gonna get you one. It's at the farmers market in Redland. Yeah. See, it's not. It's not I don't. I don't. I don't eat gotta, funnel cakes, but you gotta I'll take them because it's gotta be nice and hot. Those yeah. are the best ones. It, it does. It doesn't write good. Uh, I need a marker. Need someone. Does marker, anybody yeah. have a sharpie over here? <laughs> you need a sharpie. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a memory here, man. <laughs> help, help out the team. <laughs> <laughs> we got any more questions? Um, no, well, we're going to be going off pretty soon. Um, if you want to give your information and how anybody can get a hold of Skateland, um, you have a website? Or uh, okay, uh, we're actually, we're actually in the process of actually getting our website up. Um, we do have a Facebook page. You guys can search us, uh, Skateland Event Center. Um, we, we, we will be there with, with the Tamale Festival. Um, you know, we'll have a table there. You guys can grab information. Um, Facebook is kind of like our primary marketing uh, campaign right now, you know. So we'll definitely, once we get our website up and we get some more uh, advertisement, I'll definitely, you know, be back and I'll definitely, you know, give you guys our web address and, you know, you guys can definitely come. Yeah. Come so you out. have everything um, announced there. What you guys are doing, what kind of events and stuff like that on there. Uh, yes, on the yes. Uh, on our Facebook page, that's where we announce everything. If we're doing a community event or we're doing, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Yellow. Uh, <laughs> like next week, we're going to be doing an event with a. A radio station Thank you. next week, and that's going to benefit the victims of, 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 you know, the shooting. So, uh -huh. you know, we definitely try to, you know, get involved with our community, you know what I mean? We, you know, with the Tamale Festival, you know, Carla's done a really good job of kind of bringing everybody together. And, you know, it's it's a, it's a community event all the way around. Yeah. You yes, know, it is. beating, you know, JJ Sports Bar and Skateland and, you know, all the businesses are just local, you know, and the, and the communities involved. And as she mentioned, the city's really done a great job at, you know, backing us up and, you know, providing Parasol Park and, you know, it's definitely going to be a wonderful event. So definitely encourage everybody to come out and check it out. And well, let's explain okay. what we're, we're, you're kind of trying to do here with the community. Okay. Um, we're just trying to get involved. Um, you know, we do have community meetings that are held every month at the rink. Um, they're open to anybody. Um, you know, um, Councilman Barrios will be there. Um, he tries to bring somebody from, you know, the police department, but, you know, something, you know, things are kind of always happening, you know what I mean? Yeah. We, you know, with the city of San Bernardino, as we all know. So um, it's the next one is actually going to be this upcoming Wednesday at Skateland, uh, 2167 North Lugo Avenue. Um, it's going to be at 7 o'clock. Uh, we're going to try to have Lieutenant Rich Lawhead, you know, in attendance. And it's just, it's more of just for, for the community. 
you know, anybody that has any complaints or any, you know what I mean? Uh, Rich Lawhead is very open to, you know, answering questions and, yes. you know, people. I've been I've been to some of those. They usually have them with a copy with a cop is what they call them. And right. you get really informed about what's going on in your in your ward or and, um, you know, what's going on, what's happening, what kind of crime. And I mean, it's really good. Yeah. And they try helping out the community. Right. So. And, and, you know, our last meeting, Councilman Barrios mentioned, you know what I mean? It's, you know, everybody has complaints. Everybody yes. has complaints about the police department. Oh, yes. they take too long. But nobody wants to attend these meetings and, you know what I mean, address the situation. You know what I mean? Yes. You have a lieutenant of the police department standing in front of you. Tell him you're concerned. You know what I mean? So that way he can get something done. You know, if nobody says anything, then nobody knows anything. You know what? That's a really good point because a lot of us always just want to say, you know, this is wrong, this yes. is bad, you it's know, it's to say something. And, 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 and um, I know a lot of people say, you know, all cops are bad, all cops, but, you know, you, you can know, never just, no. just, you know, say these people are, you know, we, we have good and bad in everything, right. even in religions, yes. even in churches, even in everything. Correct. So getting involved is the main thing as the community, as a parent, um, you know, it just you, yes. just on everything involved in it. Because you if you just nowadays. watch the media, the media just gives you what you want to hear, what yes. they want you to hear, yeah. right? Ratings That's but true. Yeah. but um, if you get involved and you go to the city hall, you go to these community events, even yes. the schools, I know they have a lot of things. Yes, and they do. You know, they have PTAs, they have all this stuff that, that parents can get involved. And until we don't get involved, we cannot make the right change. So yes. it's important and it's... Um, you know, we have talked with Danny. I have talked with uh, another person, Don, that we're trying to create something to, you know, we have to make a movement of people to come out and vote. Yes, we have to make a do. movement of people to be, to, to start having hope again that there right. will be change. But unless the people get involved, it doesn't matter how many flyers, it doesn't matter how many times we say it, if we don't get the people involved, they're not yes. going to be able and to make the change. And if they don't voice their opinion, they, they need to have their voices out there right. and say what, what they want and what's going on in, you know, in the city. Yeah. It's just like Jimmy, Jimmy said, it's being Americans again. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. You know, we, we got to be Americans again. <laughs> right. And, and it, the problem is that we're letting other people choose for us when we don't right. go and get That's involved right. and make these changes for That's ourselves. Right. We always say, well, it's only my vote. I mean, why am I going to vote? But if uh, all the 6,000 people think, why am I going to vote? Those are 6,000 votes that are not voting out yes. there. So right. we yeah. can individualize individualize ourselves we have to say let's go vote let's get involved let's get in the community Not if we really want to yes. change we have to do that yes because there's a lot of people that do end up complaining but i mean if you're not going to go out there and vote then there's no need for you to be complaining whatever it is that we have yeah so and right. the answer is not well it's not going to change we tried it before it's not going to change the the point is you you have to keep trying you have to keep going yes, you, you gotta well, you gotta keep being involved here's the deal um you just hit on something <coughs> They said, if, not, if you're not going to vote, don't complain. So, no, we also, we want your complaints. We'll take the co complaint department. My name is Jimmy Espinosa. I'm the complaint department. <laughs> <laughs> Call me and I'll fix it. Whatever your complaint is, it's still our country. Yes. Mm -hmm. No matter how low you feel you are right now, whoever I'm speaking to right now, I'm calling the spirit of liberty in your soul your soul is hurt i understand that everybody here in this panel has had a hurt soul but it's what we do with it in adversity that changes things exactly. so you, these people are offering programs and a message of hope starting with danny and his 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 many many years at this microphone um bringing this open forum uh for himself i think not for the community and attracting all these other people, personalities here to do the same with the various organizations. This is America, right here, America. And so you people out there who happen to say, man, I don't know, I'm tired. I'm tired. I say, you ain't heavy, you're my brother. <laughs> Brother, where are you? <laughs> they told me that you came this way. Hey, thank, thank you, Jimmy. Okay. We're just yeah, out, we're, we're out of time. End up getting out. So we have Vipiani with the talent show coming up next. So.
Thank you so much, Jimmy. Okay, thank, thank you. you Jimmy. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you guys for having me. You know, everybody. I'll come and see us New Year's Eve. New Year's huh? Eve. Thank you. I have to leave. I got to. This is 1050 AM KCAA Loma Linda and 106.5 FM Yucaipa. Your NBC Sports Radio update starts now. Down goes Cincy. I am Keith Derizari. The Bengals, they fell to the Steelers 33-20. That's a big story, but the bigger one, Andy Dalton breaking his thumb on his right hand. Reports are he could miss the rest of the regular season. Dalton, after the game, on the injury. You don't go into play in, into any play thinking that you're going to get hurt. I mean, that's the last thing that you have to think. I mean, it's unfortunate it happened. I didn't know right away. I tried to grip a ball after once I got on the sideline, and that's kind of when I knew.